Now uh, over to our Down With The Kids correspondent for the introduction <laughs> to this next yeah. item. They were the Body Shaking Boy Band. Remember Body Shaking? Anna? No, we don't. No? I was so working there. No fun. <laughs> anyway, they were doing it. They scored 10 UK top 10 singles before they split up in the year 2000. Now, 13 years on, they are back for that big reunion. I'm these? just learning. Mm. My husband News had a just hand in. in all this. News just in. Just I made what? these guys. I made them. So <laughs> they, you launched with my husband. Yeah. Next big thing on GMTV. The First TV we ever did. We were unsigned then. Yeah. We didn't have a record deal, but. But Spike, you, you, you literally would have been a baby. How, how old were you then? I was, I was about 19, I think. Yeah. yeah. So you we are knocking on us. So we <laughs> you introduced are. you on uh, GMTV, and did mm. you win the next big thing? Yeah, we, we did. did yeah. We yeah. did, yeah. Yeah, because yeah, we didn't have a record deal then. We had nothing. It was just, I think we blagged our way in onto the show. <laughs> so Emma was instrumental <laughs> in yeah. your success. Yeah. <laughs> I could have been the Simon Cowell. This is the strange thing coming were. back, though, because I think outside we'd actually did our performance. I'd yes, like to remember. Yes, yes. And the and circle out there. Coming back, obviously, it's, uh, it's great. You see, still see some regular faces. And it was just generally being back. How's mm. the whole experience been? Not just TV shows, but just people who start recognising you again in the street. Maybe a different audience now as well. Are you enjoying that side of it? Because it's the side that you all kind of backed away from, didn't yeah. you? Yeah. Obviously, you know, with the programme, we've, we've, we're very kind of warts and all with it. Um, we told it as it was. <clears throat> but I think coming back this time, it's, it's probably a bit more relaxed because obviously we've got families and kids mm. now, so everything, your your priorities now. change, yeah, and uh, being very old. Well, well, Lee, Jimmy says you told it as it was in the programme. How was it? How do you remember it? Um, well, we started filming back in October, and I think um, we all just agreed to tell the truth about everything. And was, was that a good idea? I think so. <laughs> I think it was. Um, <laughs> it's a lot of emotional stuff, a lot of stuff we hadn't talked about because we we were three men who didn't talk about things back in the day. Yeah. Mm. So we had to get a lot of stuff on the table. And um, for me personally, it was it was like a therapeutic thing, probably for everybody actually. And all the bands have said the same. It's, it has been a bit therapeutic. Well, it, I mean, you were all brutally honest. I thought actually, which was very hard yeah. talking about friendships or lack of friendships and actually it was Jimmy and Spike because you were together first weren't you on the Hitman yeah. and Her you've married many them moons her. ago were you on the Hitman and Her yeah yeah, yeah. and then With you Pete um, Waterman and, and, and the Kenna Strachan. Strachan. yeah and, and obviously the generation before us was was Jason Orange was one of the dancers on Hitman and Her and he left to do take that Gosh. and obviously we went on we left to do now so did you look at Jason and think that's what we should be doing we should <clears> be forming a band but we need a singer yeah and was, then, yeah we used to rehearse in one room and take that we're rehearsing in the next dance studio when they were first kind of getting together and we'd be training for like Hitman and Earn, they'd be in the next studio dance, like training for Say That. So well they say, you know, two, two's company, three's a crowd. What was that like <laughs> for you coming in? Because three's an awkward number, I think, yeah. isn't it? So did you feel that when you came in, that you know, these two were already mates? Do you know, I was starstruck when I first met the guys because I knew them as the Hitman and Her famous dancers and you stuff. You still are now, aren't you? I'm still starstruck. <laughs> <by them, yeah. laughs> but I, I don't know, we all just seemed to click straight away. You know, we're all the same height, and it just sort of worked. And um, was that a prerequisite? Had he? Was there sort of measuring tape or whatever he had? <laughs> no. to use, yeah. I mean, we even got to the point where you know, do we, do we want like extra members? But it just when we met as three people, it just it just yeah. fitted, it, and it was well, and it was it was good. Well, look tonight uh, in the big reunion, uh, we're going to see your performance that that you put in for that one. Here we go. It's all, wow. it's all very well First said. Time saw that. Let your body <laughs> yeah. lose control. But in fairness, lads, you are all getting close to not getting being on. able to hit your age with three darts. You know what I mean? I mean, we're getting, well, we're hitting the, the, the fours. Is it harder letting your body lose control? That 
I think the vibration bit in the body movement is not as quick as it used to be. I find that. You know, being, being 41. <laughs> do you find, do you find that really? I dread yeah, being I'm 40. I'm very, very supple. I'm very supple as I was when I was 20. <laughs> We've all had personal trainers, so I think we're in the best well, shape. Oh, well, show us then. Show us what does this personal trainer do? You're going to do a bit of body shaking? Oh, me do. Come on, you're on Spike the end. Spike the man, come, come on. Are you going to do it? Are you going to do it? I'll watch and learn. I'll watch and learn. You are. Oh Yay. dear! Oh, yeah, you'd be arrested yeah. for that. <laughs> that's about as long as you can do it for now. That's, that's, that, yeah, that that's should it. have come that's that's with a warning. <laughs> um, so, so the big it's pornographic that was. <laughs> it is, it is. We're all adults now, so it's fine. All fans are adults, so it's cool. It's all right. Um, I suppose now. Mm. What now is the thing? Are you going on the tour, the big reunion tour? Yeah, the tour starts the third of May. Uh, it's fourteen dates on the arena. Um, and then we've just been told about the Christmas dates as well as, a, as oh, there's more arena dates for, for Christmas. Are you going to but enjoy it? Oh, I love it. Loving it. Loving it. Yeah. Yeah. Amazing. Amazing. But that's all with the big reunion. Are you going to do anything on your own? Because yeah. we had we had Blue we in are. yesterday, and they're mm. now touring on their own. So they're involved. Brian in the show. McFadden's back. Brian We've McFadden's got him today. Yeah. We're doing a new album. We're going to be touring ourselves next year. So we've got lots of things to look forward to. Great. So well, you, these, these are like my babies. These are giving me pride now yeah. that, you know, that <laughs> I you discovered this. Not around. at all. Great seeing <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much indeed. And every success. Enjoy it uh, a lot. I'm going to be practising my body shaking now. <laughs> Talking about um, uh, revivals and bringing things back, yeah. catchphrase. Oh, I love catchphrase. We've got a brilliant young lad um, presenting it this time. But we couldn't get him, so we got Stephen No, Stephen Mulhern. Yeah. Stephen Mulhern is doing. He is doing. And we're going to be playing with Stephen, hey. a game of catchphrase, after the break. You can join in. See you after this.